Hi, I'm Mark from Productive Computing. And I'm Stu. And together we're bringing you a course called Connect FileMaker to Google. And in this course, we're talking about the G-Manipulator plugin, and we're going to explore all the different things you can do with it in this course. I'm really excited about this course because so many people now are using Gmail contacts, calendar, G Suite, right. and whether they are tech savvy or not, we just broaden this entire audience of potential FileMaker clients right. with this if we can connect them together. Right. And that is no simple task with all of the APIs that have to be learned. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a hand there's quite a handful of skill sets required to connect Google to FileMaker, even with the latest versions of FileMaker, it's made a little easier with the latest versions of FileMaker, but it is no such thing as an absolute easy task. In fact, we did a great deal of discovery and learning that maybe you thought if you can connect to contacts, you know, Google contacts, and you once you learn that, then it's just easy street to the rest of the modules like tasks and calendar, but it wasn't really just easy street. Each one of those had their own personality traits and difficulties for us to uh, hurdle when we created the plugin. But we've done all of that work now. We've, we've explored those APIs. We've put them in an easy to use plugin to avoid having to do all of that on your own, all that API work and all that parsing and everything else and the token management and session management, the security and just the mountains of things we had to do to make this plugin work well. And it does work well. We're really excited about the plugin. And of course, the course, uh, enhances this whole idea as well. It does, and I know that as developers, because you've been developing for years, I mean, collectively, we have decades of experience. And you know, whenever there's something or a new idea that you get, you just want to take hours and hours and dive in and figure it out yourself. And that's fun, and that's most developers are somewhat self-taught. Mm -hmm. But with the other plugins, like FM Books, mm -hmm. that you have that course with, the the time that I measured in figuring it out on my own versus watching the course was vastly different. And I think there's something about the course that taking you step by step yeah. from the blank page, mm -hmm. going through each step of the process to mastery, decreases that learning curve so that before doing it on your own may go from from like here to here right and if we can shrink all those because we had to go through that to learn that we had to find those pitfalls and oh mm -hmm. if we do it this way that's going to cost us way over here well if we can shrink that down that means this is your learning curve and the rest of this can be income producing activity right right and you know personally when it comes to courses and kind of the whole reason we created the Productive Computing University in the first place was because I enjoy learning through video. That's how I became AWS certified. I learned that through video courses and video training, and that is very much the modern way of learning difficult things like technology and software integration in this case. So why not bring that to you know FileMaker developers so that they can learn our products that much easier? And there's a lot to learn with, with Google. I mean, just Google itself is sort of, you, you might say, well, adding a contact to Google is a piece of cake, but there's a lot of subtleties and preferences and nuances, especially when you're talking about G Suite, that um, a lot of options customers have. And you may not have actually used Google to that extent. In this course, we'll actually have some bonus coverage, from what I understand, where we talk a little bit about Google itself and really understand how it works you know, behind the scenes or in a more, um, advanced fashion yeah we know that you could eventually figure out how to do it but if you take the five minutes or or the just a small segment to learn that before you have a client in front of you or before you want to start programming it saves you so much time in the labels or the lists or the way they categorize there's just a couple of little nuances every little bit you save here saves you hours and hours on the other side right. of that. Right. And eventually, well, you either have a client that is using Gmail or G Suite, or you will soon see one that uses that and wants to connect those. Yeah. So the sooner you can master that skill set, the sooner you're ready to serve that client. Right, yeah, it really does broaden your skills as a developer and that uh, makes you more valuable to the marketplace, more valuable to the users if you're an internal developer. 
Uh, it's just a great skill set to have. And so we brought this plugin and this course together to deliver that offering and really up your game as a developer. So we're excited about it. And, you know, if you want to get, what's the best way for them to get started in this course? Right. You'll see the curriculum and, and all the different benefits right there. Just click and enroll. There's some preview if you want to just see, ah, oh, what is this little about? You can see those previews. But in reality, it's only going to take a few hours done the right way, structured step right. by step to master this. And you're done. And that skill set is in the toolbox, locked up, ready when you need it. So just click to enroll now and, and be done. Right. Awesome. Well, we'll see you on the inside, and Stuart will take you on a journey on how to connect FileMaker to Google. See you there. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more content like this, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, liking our Facebook page, or following us on Twitter and LinkedIn. We also have a monthly newsletter describing the latest happenings here from Productive Computing, as well as other industry-related news. Thanks for watching.